I'm just rambling here. Did I add that? there. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a bag that I've had for a while. I don't think I've done a video on this and I haven't researched it before I sat down to record the video so I'll put details up here about specifics about this uh, vintage bag but I wanted to show my vintage leather postal carrier bag. And this is old, and there were several manufacturers that made these, and there is writing inside that dates them, right inside this reinforcement piece here, there is a word. This one is uh, Buchheimer, 1967. So if you get one of these, you'll know the age of it. This one was in moderately good condition in the sense that it didn't have any missing parts and the leather was salvageable. Sometimes this leather can become very brittle and you can actually tear it with your hands. And that is what happened to the integrated straps. So I use the existing design of it, which has this reinforcement piece here, and just added a little strap to the top. And that's because I keep this hung on the wall. I don't carry it. It's, you know, it's, it's really beat up. It's not really practical to carry. Some of the ones that are in really good condition are, and people do carry them. It's a unique bag. If you don't mind standing out from the crowd a little bit, it is something that you could carry. These were very heavy. And from what I understand, the postal carriers were really happy when they switched to the canvas and nylon bags for them to carry. It has a flap on the front and down here, and this one's a bit faded or a little bit worn out, but there's usually a half circle that says, um, like maybe post office or something. I'll see if I can put some pictures in there. Mine doesn't show up that well, but it does have the remnants of the half circle with the, um, the stamp on it. So this flap, which is still very soft, opens up. So inside the flap, you have a reinforcement piece um, of thicker veg tan here. And because that is where the stress is going to be put on the bag. Um, there is also a separate flap here in the front, I guess, to carry smaller things. But it also completely sits flush to that front so that it doesn't take up space if you just want to be in the main portion of the bag. There's a little strap on each side attached here and here, and that is to attach your, uh, your other pouches that you might need. It's on the other side as well. This one had a unique feature, and that was this little pouch on the side, and it says USPS on it. And it's for stamps so that the you could buy your stamps directly from the mail carrier as he was on his route. And in case you don't know, I believe this is still correct, um, if you're a rural route customer, the mailman has to be basically a post office on wheels. And so let's see, uh, this one actually has a hole in the bottom. It also is a bit stiff on the corners, and it, it you know, it's, it's not like it was in its new or often used condition. There is some cracking to the leather, but it's just such a unique piece, and you know, I love vintage. Because of its condition, I didn't pay what one in perfect condition would be. This one was discounted a bit. There are a bunch of newer bags, bags made in the modern era, that are based on this design. So if, you're, if you want to find a messenger bag that is based on this postal tote, um, you can search words like postal tote messenger bag, postal tote um, laptop, and you know variations of post office and postal, and you'll get bags that are based on this basic design. 
the um, the postal carriers probably didn't regularly condition or care for their bags. And something I have a feeling about, and I could be wrong, is that if a bag or a, a piece of leather is used often, like daily, it's probably getting naturally conditioned by your hands and your body oils. It's when that bag goes into storage and is forgotten about that you start to see deterioration. I could be wrong on that, but I have had some um, baskets with leather handles on them that I put away for a while and I brought them back out and those leather handles just snapped right off. And if I had conditioned those regularly while it was in storage, but you know, I wasn't using the basket, so I didn't think about it. And I also didn't know a lot about leather at that time. Those handles would have stayed soft and supple. Also, I think with use, they would have stayed soft and supple. So I think that's what happens with a lot of these old leather bags is they just aren't used, they aren't handled. And so they stiffen up, they dry out, and then they crack and break. And before I put this one back up on the wall, I'm gonna give it um, some condition. Um, so again, the thing that really attracted me to this bag as a collectible item was the fact that it had this little postal pouch on it. And this can be removed. It's hard. It's pretty stuck on. I have removed it. There's this little snap and loop back here and I could remove it, but I don't really need to. Um, it's part of the bag, so I'll keep it there. You can look on eBay or Etsy or any of your used goods sites to find these bags. The prices will vary based on condition, but what you want to look for is a bag that's not deteriorating, not falling apart, not brittle, not breaking. Um, and if you just want one like this, do a search and you'll find some people who are making these bags um, and they're new. So I'm going to show you a bag I have that is a an updated version of this made by some other company. It's not labeled, so I do not know. This is a messenger bag that I picked up at an antique show. It's probably from the 80s or 70s, and it has a lot of features like the postal uh, carrier tote that I just showed you. Um, it has the fold over flap, but it has reinforcement here for that stress point. It, it opens up just as a big open space. Um, unlike the postal bag, it has a zipper on the front. And uh, the back has a grab handle, which is nice. These are the D-rings meant for the strap. And I've added this and some D-rings on the side so that I can carry this as a backpack. I also added this back pocket that wasn't with it. That's just a sample of what somebody has done to update the vintage style to a more useful style leather bag. And they're, they, they continue to do it, so you'll find different uh, versions of the postal carriers mailbag. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching you know, Rick from the and hit that button down below. And thanks for watching and big thumbs up.